Where are we at? We're at Biscayne National Park. We've got the marina. Right? And we're getting ready to go on a heritage tour, boat tour. Yep. These people are getting ready to go on the snorkel tour. tour. They're getting fitted for their wetsuits. There's also a kayaking cruise. Small group snorkel. Yeah. Here's the boat we're going on. And here's a marina. We got paddleboard like excursions. Snorkeling. And a big sailboat over there. Adult. So, in the event that we need those today, Lewis or myself will tell you guys that we'll need to pull out life jackets. You bottom is out here, it's only about four to eight feet deep. It's about four feet deep. Grass. It is nothing but a solid grass on area. Seagrass. Be good for fishing to go. Alright, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. I'm loud enough anyways. Alright, so right here this channel right over behind us, that is Caesars Creek. Here's a couple of pictures from Caesars Creek. It was kind of a neat area to visit. Then after we left there, we headed over towards the Boca Chita Lighthouse, which was really cool too. It's the bottom of the lighthouse. Here at Boca Chita Key, I think it's called. It's a cool lighthouse. It's got one big crack in it. I see. Here's a cannon they used to fire off, I guess. Good, good. What's that? These stairwells. Quite a few stairs, but not really that bad. Basically, circles around. It's modern. It feels solid. Probably a couple hundred steps. This is Biscayne Bay. Right on top of the lighthouse. That over there would be Miami. It's actually a little deeper than it looks, but it's so clear. Like in the middle, it's probably. And there's a cannon you used to fire off. We rode in a boat just like that one. Over.
There's the boat we took over. Art Honeywell used to own this island. Art Honeywell. finished our uh, boat tour of Biscayne Bay. It's put on by the Biscayne Bay Institute, I think is what they call themselves. And they're not really park service, but they they did have a key to the uh, lighthouse. They're the only ones that have a key to the lighthouse, which is kind of funny. But it was a neat tour. The guy did a basically a history of the Biscayne Bay and the people that, you know, founded this area and built a lot of the uh, structures you see. And it, from the history, it, it sounds like it could have been um, a rival to Miami, but uh, somebody put a stop to it. I don't remember what his name was, and he uh, basically stopped Turn the development right. by right. by uh, donating his land to the Park Service. Yep. So that stopped the development of this area, and that enabled the Park Service to have a park which everybody can come and enjoy today. But uh, one guy owned an island that was key to the whole project and he So the road would have went from Miami all the way to Key West instead yeah. of the way it does now where it goes, car, uh, Key Largo is the first island that you come to, you wouldn't have had to. It would have been an island right out here and it would have went all the way In down. Of a mile, turn right but southwest. they cannot do it without... They could not do it without that guy's land. And he had two sons. His sons were King Arthur and Sir Lancelot. And King Arthur served in World War One in the I think he said Navy. And World War Two in the army he survived both, but later on he did die from complications from the war. Um, but Sir Ancelot stayed there until he was ninety two when Hurricane Andrew came through and the Park Service said, well, if you're staying, because he wouldn't leave, we're taking your cats. And he goes, well, I'm following my cats. And he went to a relative's house and he stayed and then he never went back and he died when he was 99. And now it's all part of the Park Service. It was even then, but he was allowed to live there until his dying days. Yeah. But it was a very interesting trip. Canoss Berry Farm, strawberry produced milkshakes, bakery. It's very busy. Is that the line to get in? For the bakery. Now, look at the line. It goes all the way back there. All the way up there to the door. They just come out with these boxes full of, it must be sticky buns and cinnamon rolls. And there is some fruit and strawberries. Uh, well, I've seen strawberries as a fruit. Cash only. here at the end of the day. There's the milkshakes. Strawberry, chocolate, mango, coconut, pineapple, and vanilla. <laughs> What'd you say they had? Key lime slushes. What do we want? 
I want a pecan rolls. Well, whatever. The, yeah, either way. No, they have both. They have cinnamon roll and pecan roll. Do a tray of pecan. Do you, do you like pecan? Do you want to get it half and half? Do a tray of pecan. I like them. Okay. Do you want any strawberries? Hmm? you want any strawberries? Yeah. Order. We do a tray of the pecan rolls. Is that how big is that? Like that size? It's gonna be exactly like this. Okay, that's probably enough in there. That's, that's enough. Strawberries look really good. I wonder what strawberries taste like dried out. Ooh, look at the pineapple upside down. Does that look good? Pineapple upside down, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got ours. We're off to the races. These are the pecan. Rolls. Like kind of. Uh, Trey, what do you what do you think about it? It's kind of neat, really. I mean, they smell fantastic. It does, like all the food. The upside down pineapple looked fantastic, but yeah. I've yeah. lost ten pounds over the last month, and I don't want to put it all back on. So I'm trying to be somewhat. This your, is not good. Your prices but, were cheaper than Roberts. But um, for their shakes and stuff. But big butt Roberts had a hella well Roberts had a big selection of fruit, fruit. vegetables, and shakes. <laughs> and the menu at Roberts was off the chart compared to here. Yeah. yeah. So you can't it's, it's apples and oranges of oh, what yeah. they sell. Yeah. It's it's yeah. completely two different things. The bottom's where all the, the caramel stuff the is. The caramel stuff is. The gooey stuff. The gooey. But let me tell you, it's fantastic. It was worth the wait. You didn't have to wait that long. It was probably 15 mm -hmm. minutes. You want one? Yeah, I'll get mine. Mm. Okay. I'm going to eat mine. I'm going to look at I it. I think maybe I'll wait until I get to the camper. Mm. Anyway, it looks done. good. It's good. This was a positive. Let me tell you. My, my... Oh, is it cinnamon bun? I don't think they call them cinnamon buns. They call them, uh, they call them something. Sticky buns. Sticky buns. My sticky buns were fantastic. I mean, they were small enough, but it was perfect. Like, I can't even describe. It was really good. All the way through. Fresh. It's fresh. Why? You're making fun of me? No. Yesterday's, they sold yesterday's. Oh, yeah. Yesterday's, they sold uh, for half price. And you know what, as good as what today's was, you could probably eat yesterday's and it tastes perfectly okay. Yeah. Just telling you, it was good. And they do cash only. And... Kind of expensive, is $18. It's $18 for, for a dozen. A dozen? A dozen buns. sticky buns. Which is it? But yeah, I called them pecan rolls when I was a kid, but I don't know if they used pecans on them. I think it was. Yeah, I think it's pecans. We call them sticky buns. But yeah, they call them sticky buns, pecan rolls, whatever you want to call it. They were awesome. Now we're going back to the Everglades.